Welcome to DFMMC 2014. Our work can also be found at DFMMC.com. Just from the from the plasma cut, we've got this left behind dross, and it's probably judging from. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, from the cut, the way the lines are, what you're seeing is it was a uh, the cutting speed was a little slow for the operation. Current height of the table is 38 inches. And the height of the new caster is 4 inches. So I'm going to take 5 inches off just to drop the table height a little bit. So we're marking it at 33. Using the four and a half inch grinder with a, it's a sixteenth inch cutting wheel. Okay, so there's a story to be told about this speed square. Something that uh, is kind of a shout out to my dad and being raised up in construction with him is that whenever he would use the speed square, we'd have our tool pouches on. And a convenient place to locate this is just tucked behind the tool belt by your on your back there. So it quickly became known to us as, Dad, can I have the butt square? So it's just a little side tail to hopefully keep you a little occupied during some silence here and so there we have it using the butt square shout out to uh my dad who really got me into well not so much welding but i guess labor <laughs> thanks again all 
All right, so what I got here then is I'm going to weld this on in this orientation. The reason why I cut a fifth one is I'm going to bolt two of them together and then weld it and hopefully it will act kind of like a strong back and help uh, eliminate a little bit of distortion of the flange while welding. All right, let's catch you up on what I've been doing here off camera. Is this is how I plan on bolting two of them together to set it on there and weld it and hopefully minimize a little bit of distortion. I will be stick welding it with the under the cover there, Precision TIG 225. And then while this is all going down, I'm going to see whether or not this little blower will try and suck out some of the fumes. So it might be a little loud, but we'll see if it is. If it, if it doesn't work out, we'll go to plan B. to the hardware store and picking up some 5 16 bolts. I know that this is uh, all lined up for some 3 8 but I think it's a little overkill for the situation. And this way I know that the bolts are guaranteed going to go through the holes. Well the plasma cut edge I did, I mean they were oversized to 400,000 so a 38 should have no problem but I didn't allow any I guess misalignment with all that so this is how I'm taking care of the problem with misalignment And there we have another portion of the shop is mobile and easy to move around, easy to hopefully clean a little better. So 
there you have it. Leave your comments, subscribe, do what you want to do. Thanks.